All right, guys, we just got back here to this field. Uh, we actually came through a couple weeks ago and we granular fed uh, this clover food plot. And it's really, really jumped in those two weeks uh, because the temperatures are getting warmer out, the ground temperature is warming up. So everything's kind of coming out of dormancy a little bit. But when they come out of dormancy, they're still a little bit you know, tender. So with the antler grow, when you're spraying the typical one ounce per gallon of water on those new plants like that, those new vegetation, browse, whatever it is that you're spraying, especially like apple trees, fruit trees and things, you have to cut that back to about a half ounce per gallon of water because the stuff's very, very potent. It's 100% pure micronutrition and it's just very potent. So one ounce per gallon of water goes a long way. So we cut that back to about a half ounce. Uh, it actually just got done raining here about maybe a half hour ago. Leaves are still wet, perfectly fine. Uh, dries pretty much on contact and if it does rain say when we get done or literally 10 minutes from now it can't be washed off because this product is one of the I think the only product that already has a sticker and surfactant mixed into the micronutrition package it's a complete package you don't have to go out and buy extra surfactant extra sticker and mix it together it's through it's mixed through a patented you know technology where they can already add the sticker and surfactant to the micronutrients so it's a complete package mix it with water spray it on can't be washed off benefits the plants animals because you're up in that di up in the digestible proteins in the plant the mineral content and there's a there's a few questions regarding this because um, people don't understand surfactants and stickers and you know why is it why does it have to have a sticker there's other micronutrient nutrition packages out there that it say that they're cheaper but here's a fact real quick listen up there's tons of so-called micronutrition companies out there the fact is research it yourself those are pretty much fertilizer with a very minute micronutrition package in it and a lot of those I had a guy message us the other day he said oh you know i can buy this this brand it's fifty dollars per gallon okay fifty dollars per gallon we'll go look at it it says three ounces per gallon of water. So how much does that gallon cover? Not very much. If you do the math, uh, two and a half acres, three acres for 50 bucks. The antler grow is 100% micronutrition, no fertilizer in it, already has a sticker, already has a surfactant. One gallon costs $80, free shipping, and it does five acres. So you tell me which one you know, that you, that you wanna buy. So fertilizer and micronutrition is two completely different things, but they kind of work together. Micronutrition is your minors, MPK is your majors. You need both. But for plant health, it's very important to have those micronutrients. Well, how do you get them? Well, they're already in the soil. But when plants you know, are, are constantly pulling those micronutrients out of the ground, then the soil becomes lack thereof. The micronutrition level is very low. So how do you increase it? Well, you do crop rotation. You plant certain plants certain times a year. You disc them in. You, you know, you increase the um, organic matter in the soil. You just those plants some some take, some give. Some take, some give. It's crop rotation. Well, what do you do to bypass that soil? You foiler feed. When you foiler feed the plants, um, you're bypassing that soil, giving it directly to the plant where the plants can actually absorb that through the leaves. Make sense, guys? Any questions, let me know. But we're going to get the spraying. As you saw earlier, we hooked up the sprayer. Um, I'm going to put this on time lapse and you know, a couple of different angles and show you guys. But it's roughly uh, one ounce per gallon of water, as you know. One gallon is about 128 gallons of water, which will do five acres. Break it down, you want about 25 gallons of mixed product with water per acre. We have 24 gallons mixed in. We're going to go around this one acre. Might take you know two spots, two times around or whatever and uh, we'll get this done.